Hi, in this video, I'm going to walk you through the steps on how to set up an affiliate program for your BB SaaS and then running you through the technical installation for Redditus. And my name is, is Jarn Hoffman. I'm the founder of Redditus. So this is your typical SaaS flow, right? At the moment you create demand where you basically go directly to your ideal customer profile. People sign up. If you have a freemium or free trial model, they could never move the paid. And when they move the paid, it happens on a recurring basis. That's a typical SaaS model. If this is not your model, then you're probably not the right fit for us. What we're going to do with affiliate marketing is basically affiliates are going to refer traffic towards your site. When they convert into a sign up or a book a demo, that's what we call a referral. And then the flow remains exactly the same. They could still never move the paid. And when they move the paid, it's going to happen on a recurring basis. The way we do things is you're also going to reward the affiliates on a recurring basis. So you're basically going to set a commission percentage and a commission length. And that's why the recurring aspect is a lot bigger right now, where you receive a payment. We would check how much commission did you agree with the affiliate, calculate everything, show it in your dashboard and their dashboard. And then from there, this recurring cycle uh, stops until the agreement with the affiliate affiliate is over. So this is why we need a connection with your payment processor. To make this technically work, we need three, three things, tracking script, a conversion snippet, and uh, a connection with your payment processor. So the tracking script is basically adding a cookie to the end user's device whenever they click an affiliate link. And then the conversion snippet is sending us the email of the person actually signing up to your tool. So it's not an actual conversion, it's, it's, it's a sign up. So it's not actually delivering you money right yet. Then um, once we received that person signing up via, um, via an affiliate, we're gonna make the connection with your payment processor and we're going to check, is that email present within any of the payments done? And if so, we're gonna uh, start that recurring cycle I just, just mentioned in depth a little bit. Um, so if we dive into the tracking script, you will need to install it on your entire website. So whenever an affiliate wants to, for example, generate traffic towards the pricing page, a case study page, a certain feature, feature page, they can do so because you installed it on the entire website and it will need to be live whenever somebody signs up. So if, if it's the same as, as, as us, it's going to be app.getreadytest.com slash sign up, for example. So we do subdomain tracking, but make sure that you also add the tracking script wherever the sign up is actually happening. How to set it up? Um, if you have Google Tag Manager Live, then it's really easy. You just copy and paste the script and fire it in all pages. If you don't have Google Tag Manager Live, you can also add it into the header of your site. If you need help with this, then go to the uh, relevant help center article and I even walk you step by step how to do this. For the conversion snippet, again, um, it's going to be fired when somebody actually does a successful form submission. It has to be implemented into the actual code of the sign up form. And um, it's just one line of code where it also says email at example.com. Make sure you actually change it to the actual email attribute. So the email people fill out when they sign up to your tool. Um, and I guess like most common is sign up forms, but if you have a, a contact form or a book a demo form, make sure you add it there as well. Easy way to check where do I need to add it is just go to your um, to your website. What are the main call to actions and make sure you you capture those. How to install the conversion snippet? Um, as as shown on the left side, it's basically one line of code. Um, you can grab it from your app and then we even make you some examples on help.getreadytest.com where you can see exactly how to implement it into these different uh, code languages. Connecting your payment processor, we have um, two direct integrations, one with Stripe, one with Paddle. That's basically a three click uh, setup. If you don't have Stripe or Paddle, then contact us because we do have an option available um, via the API or if you have any GDPR concerns, contact us as well. And we're more than happy to walk you through the steps on how to get things set up via the API. And in general, if you need help, just contact us. So info at getreadytest.com 
or open up app.kredetis.com and then from there you will see the chat option available as well. I hope this was helpful. Um, I'm gonna, we have a lot more videos. If you go into the different articles on our help center, make sure you check those out as well. Cheers, thanks.